This is Travis Zimmerman of Speak My Word Ministries. This is a two-part series just after Easter, the celebration of Jesus rising from the dead, about the lengths to which us humans will go, you know, the, the, us scoffers to, to not believe the Christ. And it's, let me share with you what the, the, the preparations that the chief priests and Pilate in turn allowed to ensure that Jesus remained in the tomb. I'll go right out of the scriptures. Matthew chapter 27, verses 62 to 66, right after Jesus has been put in the tomb. The next day, the one after preparation day, the chief priests and the Pharisees went to Pilate. Sir, they said, we remember that while he was still alive, that deceiver said, after three days, I will rise again. So give the order for the tomb to be made secure until the third day. Otherwise, his disciples may come and steal the body and, the people, and, and, and tell the people that he has been raised from the dead. You know, in other words, it's a ruse. This last deception will be worse than the first. You can just hear Pilate going, oh my goodness. <sighs> Take a guard, Pilate answered. Go make the tomb as secure as you know how. So they went and made the tomb secure by putting a seal on the stone and posting the guard. So Jesus wasn't alone in his death, was he? You know, we always know the, the, the father was with him. But when he was put in that tomb and they, and they rolled the stone down in place, they actually posted a guard. And you can just see, you know, wow, it's almost like Houdini. And I don't mean anything sacrilegious to that at all, but there's no way, there's, there's one way out of this tomb, at least in their mind, and it was through this rolled stone, and that wasn't going to happen. So tomorrow we'll look at what actually happened and about the lengths that we go. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.